Today on the Escape Llama YouTube channel, we are talking about combination locks! Woo! Meh. These are the locks that you turn the little dial used to have on your lockers growing up as kids. Now, one thing you need to know about these locks is you do not get to pick the numbers. They come with the numbers already. Uh, they're, they're just already assigned. And so you don't have a choice on these. And so they come that way. So as you create your puzzles, as you do different things for these, you're gonna have to go around these locks. You can't make these locks fit to your puzzle exactly the way you probably want. Another thing that has we have an issue with these Kids don't use these anymore. They used to use these when we were growing up. I know this is, I had this on my locker, but this is not something that's used anymore. And so kids don't know how to use these as well as they used to, but I think they're still good locks. I think they have some neat puzzles that you can do around them. And so the way these work, so this one, the code is 29, or sorry, 28, nine, and two. And so to reset these, you just always turn them to the right. Just turn them to right a whole bunch of that resets it. Um, and then the, the original goal is, is you really only have to do three times and then you find that first number, that 28, and you stop on it. You pause, you wait there for just a second. Then you have to go to the left and we'll go to the left to number nine. Now to go to the left, you have to go one full time around and then you stop at nine. So we'll go one full time around and then we'll stop at the number nine. Pause there. And then the last number is two. And to get to this, you go back to the right, but you go directly to that number. You do not pass go, you do not turn around. You go directly to that number. So we'll go straight to number two, and then it opens. And so cool, neat lock, because you have to turn in different things. But again, it's a hard one, because kids don't know it as well. Now, one of the ways we've used this lock in puzzles, we've used it on kind of a path. Or we talked about, you know, I went for a walk, and I, as I was going for this walk, I felt like I just kept going around and around in circles about three different times until I stopped and saw, you know, the heading 28. So I stopped at 28. But I, sure, I was sure that wasn't it. So I went around a different way, the opposite direction, one full time around, and then stopped, you know, at the heading of nine. And I knew that still wasn't the right spot, so I went for a walk and went directly to two and that's how you would open it. And so you can kind of come up with a puzzle or words or a paragraph that would fit how these work. But this is something you're probably gonna have to show kids how to use if they don't currently use these at school. 